Again, just to remind you, the latest on our top story this hour, at least 87 people are now confirmed dead after a shooting spree at a Norwegian youth camp. And police say they are continuing to search for several people still missing. And that attack at the youth camp came shortly after a powerful blast in downtown Oslo, which claimed at least seven lives. Justin Dargan, a research fellow with the Dubai Initiative, says recent years have created the perfect environment for far-right extremism to flourish. While, this, uh, while transnational Islamic terrorism has been on the radar for some time, the very real threat of uh, the homegrown right-wing ex extremists has been overlooked. Within most Western countries, we have seen two things happening at the same time. We have seen this type of ratcheting up of uh, rhetoric, anti-immigration uh, rhetoric. Uh, this has happened in the U.S. and also Western Europe. And there's also been this uh, demise, we can say, of uh, multiculturalism. So there have been individuals that have more or less become quite, uh, quite uh, self-radicalized due to uh, the environment and also due to uh, the idea that uh, there's just been an influx of immigration. And then compounding uh, these factors has also been uh, the global economic crisis. So you have the Eurozone crisis and you also have how the global economic crisis impacted the United States. So there has been a general type of environment which has encouraged individuals to take out their frustrations on a newly arrived uh, immigrants immigrants. Uh, so I think that this is something that is actually uh, very, very, uh, very, very important for uh, Western policymakers to look at. So I think that in the coming years, we're going to see more of this uh, right-wing extremism. Well, in light of